Okay, so this is either going to be one of the best things I've ever done or it's going to be a complete disaster. <laughs> I've booked a cruise around the world famous UNESCO heritage site Halong Bay, one of the most incredible landscapes on planet Earth and I've booked onto a luxury cruise and it was super last minute, it was super expensive and I had no idea what boat I was booking or what room I was getting, it was just like a panic to get on a boat tour today. This is expensive and I have no idea what kind of tour I'm actually booked onto. <laughs> Okay, so let's begin the cruise by waiting for our ride. So in this bay, this is where all the cruise ships come in to pick up and drop off the guests. Now, apparently, our cruise is too big to come all the way back. And so a bunch of boats picked us up and took me and 20 or 30 other guests to the boat, which was moored inside Halong Bay itself. The reason why I booked it super last minute was I thought it'd be really easy to find a tour company, find a cruise company and book a ticket. But no, they're all based in Hanoi and they're all based online. So the night before I was frantically trying to get onto a cruise, but they were all fully booked. And thankfully someone at half past 11 at night got me on a cruise last minute. I paid $300 for a one night cruise, inclusive of all your food. The only thing you have to pay for is alcoholic beverages. I didn't see any pictures of the boats. I had no idea what cruise I was going on. All I knew was I paid $300 and we were on our way to find our boat. So the first thing we had was a buffet lunch on arrival, lots of sweets and treats available and I was super excited, I was starving at this point. I have to say, by the way, that this buffet lunch was one of the best meals of the entire experience, maybe even my favourite. Roasted oysters, delicious fresh Vietnamese salad, salad rolls, fresh fish curries. It was absolutely delicious guys, incredible. Plus, they have a really good wine menu, so I got myself a nice glass of Chardonnay, darling. I was really trying to blend in and look fancy. I'd put my only buttoned collared shirt on, so I was trying to blend in with all these fancy pants. And the food, the wine, absolutely spot on. And you can just watch the other cruise ships sailing away around the bay. It was absolutely amazing. Delicious fruits as well couple of naughty slices of chocolate cake, don't tell anybody. I love white guava, by the way, this fruit here, it's delicious. And so after some fruits and some wine and some delicious seafood and a couple of cheeky little slices of cake, it's time to go check out our room. Wow, ooh, there's a bathtub with a view. <laughs> this is quite posh, isn't it? I'm glad it is actually because it was a bloody fortune. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be good. Quickly check the bed. That's the softest bed of the trip so far. Let's check the pillow. Yep. And it's got a little balcony. Lovely jubbly. And we just cruise around. There are a lot of other cruise ships here. I don't know how I ended up with this one. This one seems really nice. Although they all look really nice to be fair. And we get to cruise around Halong Bay for the next, what, day and a half. Right then, let's have a tour of the boat. Now this company is called Orchid Cruises and don't worry, 
I'll have the link in the description if you want to book this same company. But I'll also put the link to the website that you can buy and have a look at all the different types of companies that are um, cruising around Halong Bay. There's plenty. So our one comes with a hot tub on the top, on the front. And there's a little veranda here with plants and things. And it gives you great views of the bay as you cruise along. It's a very quiet vessel as well, which is nice. And you can see all the other cruise ships. What's funny, actually, is we all kind of just go to the same place. <laughs> but you'll see that later. Gorgeous views, as I discussed. On the top, there's a mini bar, like a cocktail place, and some place to sunbathe and relax, read your book, or you'll listen to your audio book and just absorb the views as usual. Fantastic vessel, absolutely gorgeous. And I think we'd struck gold, actually. There's only 15 rooms in the boat, so you don't feel like it's packed. In fact, everybody on the vessel had their own space. We never felt like we were on top of each other. But it was also compact enough to easily talk to people, make friends, and just have a good old chin wag. There's some sort of kayaking activity, there's a swimming activity, there's a cooking class, there's Tai Chi, I think you get a spa treatment involved. Lots of things to do if you want to. But half of me just wants to have a glass of wine and just absorb the views. I'm not really bothered about kayaking, if I'm honest. I'll definitely go for a swim. My first ever YouTube video was uploaded here in Halong Bay, and I'll show you in a second, but I had a little point and shoot camera and I would upload little 10 second clips here and there to YouTube back in 2008. And me and Dave took a Halong Bay cruise, but it was a lot different to this. And uh, yeah, here's the clip. Hi everyone, um, sorry I haven't emailed uh, for ages, but me and Dave have been really busy going all over the place. Say hi Dave. Hi guys. And um, you might be wondering where we are at the minute. We're in Vietnam and it's amazing. The the rooms are a bit basic, um, <laughs> as you can see it's a bit small, but there is a reason for this and that is because we are on HMS Victory and uh, I'm just going to go for a shower. <laughs> so low quality but great times and back then I don't think you could do luxury cruises and now if you look around everyone's on a luxury cruise I don't even know how to do a cheap cruise now I mean I couldn't find it online I know there's Hanoi Central Backpackers where we stayed in Hanoi the first night or the first few days anyway they did a tour and it's based out of Cat Bar Island so we might do that we might do that next This is fun. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sit down now, my public captain Kevin. In about 10 more minutes, we are visiting Duck and Bright Cape with the option for you going kayaking or bamboo port. If you want to join us, please go down the reception area in about 10 more minutes. Thank you for listening. Everybody seemingly from the boat has gone on the kayaking tour, but you know what? I drive an uncomfortable motorbike for a living, so kayaking on a plastic kayak in the heat sounds uncomfortable. And I have enough adventure on a daily basis as it is, so I have a much better idea. Now we have the whole boat to ourselves, cheeky jacuzzi, lovely sunny day, and a very rare cold beer. <laughs> They have a cocktail bar on the terrace upstairs. So I've ordered a 
lime frozen daiquiri. The thing is, it's a happy hour thing, so I ordered one and they gave me two. <laughs> oh, that's very refreshing. And uh, everyone's just living their best life. This is like a billionaire simulator. You've got people in the hot tub having cocktails and everyone else just walking around, swimming around, living their best life. And if you look around, we're in this bay with a bunch of other boats and everyone's just having the time of their life. This is perfect and the weather is fantastic. So I'll just soak up this billionaire simulator. <laughs> this is what it must be like to have your own massive yacht. Mmm. Lovely jubbly. Yes, absolutely splendid. I really think that this $300 price tag was worth it. You do get to live like a king. The room was incredible. The boat is just perfect and the scenery is out of this world. Of course, it would be nice if you could do it on a budget. There are other options. You can go to a hostel and go on a backpacker version, but I would imagine with it being a younger crowd, there'd be a lot more booze involved, probably a lot of speakers playing questionable music in the beautiful nature. So I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old, but this was the perfect mix between having a drink, but enjoying the incredible scenes. That evening, shortly after, as the sun was setting, the host of the boat, a lovely lady, she put on a little cooking show. She showed people how to make Vietnamese spring rolls and then anybody who wanted to got a chance to roll some up and we got to eat them which was nice. Two for one cocktails for a couple of hours as well which was nice and then it was time for dinner. It was an a la carte menu. I had a delicious fish dish, some prawns as well. There were actually three or four dishes and some wine and I sat with some teachers from Colorado in America and I got to crack heads about teaching there and that was really cool. And then I had a nice long hot bath, <laughs> listening to some tunes, and a great night's sleep. The next day when I awoke, there was a Tai Chi lesson on the deck at sunrise, followed by a kayaking tour, followed by a bike ride, and I went on none of them. I just enjoyed breakfast, a coffee, peace and quiet on the deck, watching the world go by, watching the sunrise, and just kind of minding my own business. As I said before, I kind of live an adventurous life as it is, and I didn't need to go on a kayak until I didn't need to go for a bike ride to feel like I was getting my money's worth. I actually felt like the best part of this experience was resting, resting my back, resting my ass. I've been on the bike three and a half weeks, guys. So this was much needed. I didn't fancy doing all the adventurous stuff. We live in an adventurous life as it is. So for me, this was the perfect experience. And we came back to Halong City around about two o'clock. I got on my bike and I went to the ferry and I caught the ferry to Kat Ba Island. But that will have to wait for the next video. But if you enjoyed this video, smash like, Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Patty out. <laughs> mm -hmm.